Who are you? And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is De Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. And I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. Listen, we're not here for a simple family issue. The stakes are much higher. So I must ask you to stop this hunt so we can find Alba. I made a commitment to find this young woman and bring her back to her father. I will not give up so easily. I have been promised a substantial amount of money. And I care about my reputation. I understand. But you are aware of the fact that your order has suffered a major setback lately. And I'm afraid your involvement in this case will only make things worse. You could be right. I may be in over my head. Well, I'm going back to San Mateus. I leave you this savage. Have fun, and happy hunting. Let's free this poor man. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wenshavaye later on. the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Oh, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alba is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. Or he led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your... notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaixe to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. But right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the Tenlands. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye.
Here comes our pay, boys! Come on! Let's see what's up! the cave that our protégé told us about. I can't say that I have a good memory of this place. to die than to return to my father. Wait, something's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. We do not intend to kill you, let alone take you back to your father. So then why are you here? We know you betrayed the Noughts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder, and we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Nords are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. It worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors, and I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. Reuben used the mistrust of the volunteers to accuse her, and he used us to make her run away. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. <sighs> We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony.
Bit of poison on my blade. Here, let's go! Yeah! 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 Desarde, what can I do for you? Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alba and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Hello. You need something? What do you think about Captain Reuben? I know what it's gonna sound like. But I liked it better when you were captain. Thank you. Heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof, doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen. One of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. When pride and debt are your masters, it can push you to desperate measures. You afraid he might do something stupid? Perhaps. But keep that to yourself, if you would. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Good day. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about your new captain? He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... <sighs> troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But <laughs> never mind me. It's not my place to judge my captain. He's got responsibilities I can't fathom. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Captain! Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him and runs a tight ship. What else is there to say? He's a captain. I'm only a cabin boy. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when he saw that she was trustworthy, he treated her like one of our own. But when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a nod. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself.
Hello, my darlings. What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. Even if I offer you enough to enjoy one or two quiet nights? I would appreciate it. But I still cannot tell you the secrets between Reuben and me. Come on, it looks like you work hard here. And I'm not asking you to betray him. Just tell me about him. Well... It is true that a night's rest would do me good. All right. What do you want to know? Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level, and his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents, and it has turned him bitter. Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always... But they only changed... He says everyone is... Un... Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. This man is a complete traitor. Bitter, dissatisfied, and anxious. We should follow him tonight. He may finally lead us to some solid proof.
We can see everything from here. Here he is, red-handed. A sellout. Shall we arrest him? Yes, let's go. ready to sell more than just his own knowledge. There are plans for machines and ships that he must have stolen from elsewhere. Sarde, what can I do for you? Captain Reuben will no longer harm the Nords, and we have retrieved his journal and other documents. But alas, we could not identify his buyer. A shame. But what matters is we have the documents, and Reuben cannot betray us anymore. As for you, Alba, I owe you an apology. I should have trusted you. You have nothing to do with it. The Captain did everything to make me appear guilty. No. If we put the same trust in the Volunteers as in the Seaborns, this would never have happened. We owe you a lot, De Sarde. I will not forget it. Nor will I forget the lesson. Be sure of it. You have my full gratitude. Anything else? 
Admiral, did you think any more about my Alliance proposal? Indeed. You have given me reasons to reconsider. And you earned the trust of my men. They will be by your side when it's time to fight this battle. Thank you, Admiral. Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. How can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the islanders, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures, in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, we're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I asked my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger, and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? You seem to know Kurt well. If you're expecting her to tell you some nasty little secrets, it might be best if I head away. Don't say such silly things, Kurt. You know I only have good things to say about you. We have known each other a long time, and we have fought together. I think we have been brought closer by the ideals of the Guard. A mercenary guild, certainly, but for whom honor and loyalty are not empty words. Some would tell you that we're past it, that our vision is too naive and idealistic. Perhaps that's true, but I do not mind fighting and risking my life for what I believe is right. Kurt, too. Anything else? I have to go. Goodbye. I also have a lot to do. Until next time, Your Excellency.